All right, we're in Eco Town we're with Eco Block. I've got Daz. We're going to have a little bit of the chat about polystyrene and what you guys use it for. Because I've got my little polystyrene poo, which I carry around with me. Yep. So this stuff here is actually the same as the sheeting that you guys use, and it's melted down. And this is how they recycle it. But I want to know what you guys use it for in the way of building side of things. For we use it as a stay-in-place formwork for yep. reinforced concrete. So the panels are the formwork and a connector that goes in between, we can vary that connector to place our concrete. Okay. As you can see, we've got the steel in here, which is reinforcing that concrete. So we can, we can engineer this to be a, a cyclone rated um, product or retaining walls or whatever. So it's concrete on the inside. On the inside, Foam yes. block on the outside. Correct. So a bit different from a SIPS panel because it's foam on the inside and then... And then a sheeting yeah, on the yeah. outside. So you've actually Correct. got concrete foundation wall on the inside. Yes, it's the structural integrity of the building is coming from that concrete. And then what do you skim it with? I see you've got a little bit of a display sure. here. Yeah, this is a polymer render that goes on to... It's actually a sand and cement bagged render yep. that has a polymer in it which actually sticks like bilier to the polystyrene. Okay. So because it's, it doesn't absorb moisture, it's a chemical bond yep. from from Good that morning. to the polystyrene. The um, but we're not limited to just rendering. Yep. Because our system have has this web system that goes cast into the polystyrene mm. in the manufacturing process, we can screw fix into this. Yep. So therefore, we can clad these walls with cement sheet, corrugated iron, oh, weather, really? weatherboards. So you anything, stick anything on the outside? Anything. And, and then that relates back to, onto the inside where we just screw and glue plasterboard. Oh, yeah? Because all those webs are every 200 millimetres along the block. So the biggest thing I'm interested in, um, yep. we had a bit of a chat about it already, and it's the amount that you can reduce uh, what's going into the skip bin. Because 45% of our landfill is actually sure. building waste. Yes, yeah, yeah. All of my all of my offcuts, which is very, very limited, it's only because of the architectural design that we we might have a different size window, yeah, 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 we'll yeah. have an offcut. Yep. Now those offcuts, we put them in the bags and they go back to our refuse tip and they get melted down and reprocessed. So nothing is going into landfill. We've done homes here where they're two and three story homes yeah. with no skip bin on site. Really? No builder's bin on site. <laughs> yes, That's because awesome. we're taking that away to the recycling yep. and it's getting um, reprocessed again. And that's why you have eco in front of block. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> no worries, mate. Thanks for the chat. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Love it.